Gibraltar had the Canadian 25th Infantry Brigade involved. Okay. Step into a corner of South Korea like these Canadians have and feel their determination to defend this country all over again. We fought and died for this, we're staying here. Mm. So they ended Despite a threat from the north that seems greater than ever, nuclear war. And that's very clear. I mean, if something occurs that disrupts or destroys that peace and security here, Canada has signed the support and help. So potentially we'd be fighting on the side of South Korea? Potentially, yeah. I mean, the coalition is, is made for that. A coalition formed seven decades ago to fight a Korean war that's never officially ended. A UN force led by the US to push back a North Korean invasion. 26,000 Canadians fought, more than 500 died here. There were multiple Canadian yeah, yeah, yeah. battalions. RCR and Van Dues, I think. Uh, Nine Canadian troops are with that UN force still amid rising tensions. Since the start of last year, North Korea has fired more than 100 test missiles. Its leader, Kim Jong-un, demonstrating his nuclear capability, a national preoccupation that years of tough sanctions and global pressure couldn't stop. With every advance in nuclear missiles by North Korea, its reach gets farther, the stakes get higher, and down here at bases in the south, the time to react gets that much shorter. Military planners are constantly finding themselves calculating, recalculating, and training. Not far from the border, U.S. troops drill rescuing and treating injured soldiers under fire, setting their sights on an enemy who could come over the hills at any time. Yes, we're in an environment where things are already are tense and they could escalate even more. For seven decades, this has been sufficient. The presence of more than 28,000 U.S. troops, plus American air power, and the comfort of Washington's distant nuclear umbrella. U.S. President Joe Biden underlined his commitment while meeting with South Korean President Yoon Suk-yul last month. Our mutual defense treaty is ironclad. That includes the nuclear threat and the nuclear deterrent. Korean support for U.S. forces has been strong, but for many now, that's not enough. Seven out of ten here tell pollsters they feel vulnerable without nuclear weapons permanently on South Korean soil, preferably their own. South Korea, we are nuclear hostage. Cheon Seong Woon is a former secretary for security strategy to the South Korean president. His message to the foreign force protecting the South? You are conventional organization. Now, unfortunately, Korea enters the nuclear age. You have to adapt yourself to become a nuclear-oriented organization. Are you ready? Many aren't sure the world community is ready to tackle North Korea at all. Kim Byung-uk among them. He defected from the North 21 years ago. Sanctions and military pressure have failed. Isolating North Korea has been a disaster. We need to accept them as part of the world community and open real dialogue. He says Kim Jong-un's obsession with acquiring nuclear weapons is partly out of feeling threatened, especially by U.S. forces on his doorstep. Now it's the South feeling threatened and considering much the same buildup, and Canadians quite possibly in the middle.